Yellowstone Volcano. How USGS scientist claimed, this is when supervolcano will erupt. A scientist monitoring the Yellowstone volcano made a claim over when she believes the supervolcano will erupt during a Facebook live stream. The Yellowstone volcano has erupted three times in history 2.1 million years ago, 1.2 million years ago and 640,000 years ago. Experts have previously revealed that, should an earthquake occur, it could take less than two weeks before a catastrophic reaction is triggered. As a result, scientists from the USGS are constantly monitoring the volcano. In April 2018, scientist in charge Mike Poland, along with deputy scientist in charge Wendy Steele, hosted a Facebook Live event where they took questions from the public. During the broadcast, Dr. Steele revealed how the volcano's next eruption is often miscalculated. She told viewers, Yellowstone is a hotspot volcano and you can see, from the map, the state of Idaho and the current volcanic field. What we can see on the map is numbers next to these volcanic centers which represent millions of years since they erupted. Now if you take into account the last 6 million years, then the average reoccurrence interval is about 996,000 years. If you only looked at the Yellowstone volcanic field, then many calculate that it erupts every 600,000 years, but it is actually a 740,000 interval. Dr. Steele went on to explain how she would make a prediction for the next eruption. She added, you cannot get statistically accurate by looking at only two intervals. The way it works is this volcanic field will go through cycles of erupting and then lava flows fill in the caldera. Holding the map to the camera, she adds, Here is the Yellowstone lava flows that have erupted since the last supereruption 600,000 years ago. So if that interval is correct of 740,000 years and it has been 600,000, then we are 140,000 years away from an eruption. The revelation comes after another USGS scientist detailed a sudden rise at the Norris Geyser. Dr. Poland, who works alongside Dr. Steele, said in 2018, right now it is in a period of uplift moving south and east. In terms of the overall caldera, it is subsiding, but Norris has these interesting events when it shoots upwards. It is the most dynamic place in the park and perhaps it is because of all the water that is under the surface. So we are monitoring it and while the caldera is going down, Norris is rising. <laughs>